Welcome to my home garage. Today we have a Mercedes Benz C43 AMG, a 2018. We're going to be doing a B1 service. A B1 service is an oil change, change the cabin filters, change the air filters, check the tires, check the brakes, look over the whole vehicle, and bleed the brake system or do a brake fluid flush. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get to that now. The first thing I'm going to do is vacuum up all the debris in the engine bay. Make notes of what we see. To me, either someone spilled something or coolant spilled. I'll have to wait for it to cool down, but there's something written here. Mercedes antifreeze. I guess it was serviced at some point. Well, they spilled antifreeze everywhere. So that's good, we'll clean that up. So first thing is we're gonna vacuum everything here. And then we're gonna have to remove the engine beauty cover because the air filters sit underneath here. So to do that, we just gotta pull this apart. So now all you need to do is uh, remove these with the forks. T23. Clips into the back like so. You want to line up the back first, and it drops down. Make sure it's all the way in. There we go. Now we're going to do the other side. Okay, that's completed. So now we can put those covers back on, or we can leave them off until the end. We remove the valve cover, the oil cap. Leave it here where we can see it. Uh, and we're gonna vacuum this debris up.
actually, we're just going to leave the oil cap like this. We're going to lower the, lip, the whole hood down, like so. Just like that. And we're going to lift the vehicle up. Before we lift the vehicle up, we're going to actually loosen the oil cap and let the oil drain. And make do with what you got. It's 25 newton meters on torque on it. Okay, doesn't take much to tighten this anyways. Okay. It's loose. So what we want to do is, we put it in a nice place where the oil can get, get right on the belt. So, I'm going to loosen it slowly. Okay, you get yourself a nice pan. Okay. Here's your cap. Now the filter. I'm gonna do is get a rag under here. In there. That should do. Now if you have any oil debris inside there, you can get some uh, something to suck it out. Like so. Like this. And that's more than enough. We're going to replace everything on this filter and we're going to clean the housing. So it's pretty simple. First thing I'm going to do is just clean out your housing. Make sure there's no debris. Like, see, debris. You just want to pop that off. Okay. You want to clean the housing on the outside. Okay. Clean the debris. I'm going to put a new gasket on there. Actually, the oil the filter is a complete piece. What you want to do is lubricate that o ring. There's your O-ring lubricated. Okay, and that actually sits down in there. You hear it click. Now you want to put your new O-ring on here, like so. Just around like that. Okay. You also want to lubricate that with some fresh oil. So we are not gonna tighten this yet. Cause I like to pour some fresh oil in there before I start it. So all we're gonna do for now is just cover it like this. And now we're gonna lift up the vehicle. I believe that is your drain plug right there. It should be a 14 millimeter. So we're gonna pop that off and drain the oil. Okay, so let's check if this is your oil drain plug. Oh look, they put it why would they do that? They put a, a line right there. Why would they do that? Let's see, you can't get it. It's definitely not 14. I believe it's a 13 millimeter. Now here's the issue I'm having. Why would they design, is this line not supposed to be here?
so our drain plug doesn't ever back out in its life. I think someone's been in here. That's what I think. I think someone has been in here. I'm going to move that line there. I think someone's been in here before. I'm going to move it out there. Why would Mercedes do that? They're like, hey, we really don't want you to have access to this. I'm going to make this as hard as possible for you. All right. Anyways, it's off. All right, we're just gonna wait for the engine to oil to drain. Okay, so what I did is I loosened that rubber clamp right there and I just pried this line up a bit and retightened it. Let's see if when we reattach our drain plug, let's see if we have the same problems getting it on as we did getting it off. I doubt we do. There we go. My guess is someone who's been in here before and been messing around. Okay, the torque for this drain plug is 30 foot pounds. And it's a 13 millimeter. Okay. And there we go, that's tight. Just so you get a feel for what 30 feels like. Get your wrench back on there. All right, and just feel what 30 feels like. It's pretty tight. Okay. Now we can clean that up. Okay. We don't put the undercovers on until we run the car and check for leaks. So, we're done here. Let's go back up top and fill up the car. Okay, so what I like to do now, before I actually tighten on the drain plug, uh, before I tighten on the actual uh, oil filter, is I like to actually, so what I do on a lot of cars is I'll just get a little bit of oil in here. just to get the oil filter soaked so you don't have a dry start. Okay, that's all we're doing here. We're avoiding a dry start. We know this takes 6.5 liters or so. So, just, I know I'm gonna have to use this bottle anyways. Yeah, that's good right there. Okay, make sure you don't drop it on the belt. Yeah, you can actually see that from all the oil changes that the belt has had oil go on it. You can tell. Oh my god, to do this belt. Let's get the oil cap back on. Our seal is lubricated. Make sure all your lines are not stuck underneath that. And this is only 25 newton meters, so we're gonna do hand tight and then I'll come with a wrench and tighten it. 25 newton meters is 18 foot pounds. I believe. I'll double check that. Okay, that's tight. <sighs> now we'll put the remainder of the six and a half liters in. So, this one fit better? There we go, okay. We'll use that. Let's put the remainder of this in there. Let's 
six and a half liters. Now we can put the beauty covers back on and then we can get to doing the actually before we put the beauty covers on we're gonna run everything and make sure nothing's leaking but we're gonna tidy up that right now let's see if the cooling system is still pressurized clearly someone's been in here i don't know who a giant mess the coolant level is fine we made a mess here Okay, so now let's turn our attention to the brake fluid. Okay, so this is dot four. So we just wanna take a look at where the brake fluid is. So the brake fluid is right at the top of the reservoir. So as we drain it, as we drain the brake fluid, we will, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is, you know this right at the top of the level, we got brand new brake fluid. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the furthest wheel that you can. You go to the furthest wheel, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is crack the bleeder. Okay, make sure it's loose. Okay, install a hose on it, doesn't make a mess. And then show you what to do next. So let it run. So you're gonna to wanna to fill half of that right there and that should be enough to clear the brake lines out. So now it's just a waiting game. Do one at a time so you can keep good track of what's going on. It takes a while, but just have the bleeder open and it's just gonna bleed out like that. So pretty much now we just wait and we make sure we keep the brake fluid topped off in the front. So as it drains here, You want to make sure that the brake fluid in here never goes too low, okay? So pretty much this will go down as we fill. So what we could do is just observe that, see? Brake fluid's gonna be going down. When it's below that hole, we'll know it's starting to move. Like it's not going to be a fast situation. It's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so we're going to leave that filter on there. And uh, we get our brake fluid. Always have it ready. Brand new dot four. Okay. Do not sp spill any of this on the paint because it could wreck it. So you're just going to keep that fluid topped up. So as this goes down, you top it up until you get half a cup of the red stuff. Just remember, you start at the rear right, the one furthest away from the actual system, which will have the longest line, but either way, you're going to bleed them all the same, make sure all the fluid gets out, and then you're going to tighten up the line, you're going to depress the pedal so that you can take up any uh, air inside the caliper here that may be caused by having the line loose, but as you can see, we're moving pretty good, we're almost halfway done this one, so when this one's done, we'll move to the left rear, then we'll move to the front right, and then we'll move for, to the driver's side front, and then we'll make sure that the level is exactly as it was, and we'll depress the pedal, get rid of any play in the pedal from uh, air, and then we'll road test the vehicle and make sure the brakes are okay. Okay, so we're gonna do that now. I'm rinsing and repeating on the left rear side. We're gonna fill that up until that line there, okay? The brakes look good. I don't think they've ever been serviced. Uh, it's hard to tell, but uh, they should be okay. There's lots of life left on them. Is this shock leaking? No. Okay. 
Okay, now that we've filled up the thing, same thing, we're gonna close the bleeder. Close it by hand first, remove this, and then just tighten up your bleeder. You'll check to see if it's tight after when we depress the brake, you'll see if there's any leaking. And then we'll put the actual pins back on. Okay, just nice and tight. They're pretty big bleeders. Okay. That's it. Drain this and I'll do the passenger side front. You see my D in the front? There's your bleeder. Make sure your hose is on nicely. Until you fill your cup. And make sure you keep that topped up. So keep checking it. As it goes down, top it back up to the top. Once you have all the brake calipers bled, tightened, do not top off the brake fluid yet. First thing we're going to do is depress the brake pedal. So go inside the vehicle. And what you're going to do is just by hand push your brake pedal down. You just want to take up any space that might have been built up. Until it's nice and hard like that. There's no more air. Okay. Now, remember where your brake fluid was. So mine was just at the mesh. So a little bit higher than that. And it'll be good. There's my oil, my brake fluid level. So I kept all this around here so I wouldn't make a mess if I did spill any. So what you're going to do is put everything back. Clean off any excess if there is any. I use this tape to hold this panel up. Put your cap back on. Okay. Alright. And now, we have the oil in the car. We're going to start the car, depress the pedal a bunch of times. Okay, so we started the vehicle. We cleaned these off. So you just want to dry them off. We tighten them up. I'm going to put our caps back on. Go for road test and just make sure our brakes are nice and firm, just like they were before. Clean them off. Put our caps back on. We still got to put our wheels on, torque them, and then we have to check the oil level. So now that we started the vehicle, we can inspect, inspect for leaks around the oil filter housing. I don't see any. Looks dry to me. So it's nice and tight. So now we can put the beauty cover back on. So we'll do that now and then we'll lift it up and get the underbody cover on. So you have the vehicle running. There's your new washer that you put on. It's not leaking. There's no leaks from anywhere. So you can put your beauty cover back on with your eight mils and then you can lower it down. Beauty cover's back on. Just put it on number eight on like a drill and then it'll just torque itself real lightly. You don't need to over torque this. Okay, uh, wheels are on, but not torqued. So we're gonna lower it down and torque them. Once you're in the screen, you're gonna hit return and then the center button. Uh, and then, uh, go to workshop. Full service, confirm service, we use 2295, carry out service, yes, confirm, full service carried out, very easy. Now we're going to go on the passenger side and we're going to replace the cabin filter. Okay, okay we have a light on here already, uh, you'll see these torques here, there's a bunch of torques. Remove the ones you see. I believe there are one, two, uh, I think that's it. And this cover should come down and then we can get to the filter. After you move the two screws, one and two, you can pop these down. Uh, you got to disconnect the connector for, 
for this thing right here. And then it slides through a hole here. This here will slide through and now you can access your cabin filter, which is right there. So then to remove this, I think literally it just pops down like that and that's it. I don't think there's much to that. And here's your cabin filter. And then you just pop your new one in.